This year's Farmers' Day was organized under the theme Planting for Food and Jobs, Consolidating Food Systems in Ghana. The award ceremony was preceded by a five-day agricultural fair, which saw a number of farmers exhibiting different kinds of farm produce. In an interview with City News, the 2021 National Best Farmer, Alhaji Mashud Mohammed, indicated that funding remains a challenge to the agri sector. It's not easy assessing funding for agriculture. But at least, we thank God, we've been able to sell through. We've never picked a loan. We've, we don't do anything. We are just uh, working slowly. Uh, uh, so that's why I always say you should be a bit patient. Work. They shouldn't see it as an event. They should see it as a process. And then at least they will climb up and then they can do better than some of us. The president, Nana Adodankwa Akufu Ado, stressed government's plans to provide more warehouses to reduce post-harvest losses. 63 out of the proposed 81,000 metric capacity warehouses have been completed. This has increased the warehouse capacity owned by government to 97,000 metric tons. Additional warehouses will be constructed to handle the expected increased production of grains to a large storage and reduce post-harvest the Minister for Food and Agriculture, Dr. Uswa Friyakoto, encouraged farmers to turn to organic fertilizers following the high cost of imported fertilizers, which has become one of the challenges facing farmers. The latest challenge to our food security agenda has been the recent global shortage of fertilizers and the dramatic rise in the international prices of fertilizers. In some cases, prices of fertilizers have tripled on the world market in the last 12 months. So we, since we import all our fertilizer requirements, our farmers cannot escape the consequences on our domestic subsidy program. In the meantime, we at the ministry are encouraging farmers to turn to organic fertilizers which are available locally. We are also redoubling our efforts in attracting the multi-billion dollar dollars required to invest in a fertilizer manufacturing plant using the surplus gas that we now find in our offshore explorations. The Minister for Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, Mavis Hawakumsen, stated that her outfit recently introduced aquaculture for food and jobs and has so far benefited a total of 24 youth groups, 12 senior high schools, among other institutions. The ministry has started rolling out the program nationwide in 2021. So far, a total of 24 youth groups, 12 senior high schools, one educational college, and four prisons have benefited under the program. For each youth group or public institution, 10 pounds, 10 pounds are constructed and stocked with fingerlings of either tilapia or catfish. In addition, they are provided with fish feed to last a production cycle. I am Georgina Apia reporting for City News.